Hey everybody, welcome to The Art of Comics. It's me, Andres Salazar, and I'm excited to, to share with you guys something really kind of fun that happened. So, I got this package from uh, one of you wonderful um, subscribers of the channel. Uh, it was a package of comics. He reached out to me. He said, hey, I like what you do on The Art of Comics. Would you mind reading my book? And I was like, sure. I have no idea. Who this guy is we have no other communication um, don't know what the book's about or nothing he's like yeah send it to me yeah, I'll read it I'll read it and I'll review it I'm like is it cool if I review it he's like yeah go for it okay so if you as a creator have something you're working on it doesn't even have to be a comic book any kind of art book any kind of visual thing it could even be like prose because I write so it could be anything send it to me and I will talk about it so he sent me a couple things I have to mention. Wonderful packaging. Packed it up really nice. Gave me this little like personalized card. Great design. And I was like, you know what? You can you, That alone means something. So if you're ever sending books out to a editor or publisher, somebody like that, and you want to do business with them, make a nice package. I've done that and... You just got to make a good package. You got to like do a nice for him because it means a lot. It does. It's different. So he didn't just give me one book. He gave me six. And I guess there's a, I guess it's a 10, a series of 10. But I got the first six here and they're all pretty good beefy books. They're, it's not an ash can. It's bigger than that, but it's not like a comic size that we think of here in the States. It's a little smaller than that. They're all, it's all black and white. It looks like it's laser printed in, in uh, New York, um, he lives in Houston. I should say the character, the creator's name is, he's going by Ganser, so I don't know if that's a last name or for a handle, but it's Ganser. So this is a serialized graphic novel by Ganser. I think he lives in Texas now, and we're going to go through these mamas. Now, I read the first two, so I'll talk about the first two today, and then, um, if everybody really wants to know what the other episodes or issues are, I'll talk about those. But just off the bat, I picked it up. And I was like, oh, let's take a look at this. And really dug the cover. Just really dug the, the design. It's like a nice cardstock. He's got end pages that are art. Um, the design here. It's just really, it's actually, it's a fun like sci-fi little mystery thing going on, which I dig. Why don't we uh, flip the camera over? Let's kind of do a deep dive on Ganser's work here. I should say what this is called again. Just It's going to be in the show notes and stuff. But The Solar Grid, and this is by Mythomatic, Mythomatic.com or RadixMedia.com. Okay, so boom a da boom Let's take a look. He's even got like a... Yeah, only issue I will say Ganser is... It's 12 bucks. I'm cheap. So if I were to see this at a con, you'd have to work me a bit to for me to spend 12 bucks for a, you know, what is this? Maybe 48 page black and white comic. That's a little high price point for my cheap butt. Now, people who go to cons, they'll spend 12 bucks on it. So I don't doubt it's like the appropriate. And if that's what you need to do for like the, the run, I get it. But um, 12 bucks is a little bit high for me, but I'm cheap. Okay, that said, <laughs> that's like my only criticism. Okay, let's turn the camera over and let's take a look at Gans's work. Let's do it. Okay, let's look at this. Issue number one. One of the things I'll, I'm gonna take a bunch of little like comments. One is I really like the design. I like the work that's done into this. Um, I like the world building too. Those are two elements I really liked. So, really nice design, really nice world building. That's the two big things that like stuck out. As I was mentioning, here's the cover. It's it's got an interesting like um, texture to it. He put like a UV on it, and it's got like embossed like sun symbols, which works because of the solar grid, which is like this um, kind of a sci-fi element where. It, where at these certain times, uh, an array of some kind of machinery 
brings light, you know, uh, gets a solar grid. And then there's the sky squinch, which is this system of uh, absorbing water from the atmosphere. It's kind of, a, it's, it's very interesting, very kind of environmental, you know, post-apocalyptic kind of thing. Um, so, def, I would say Ganser is, I hope I'm saying that right, Genzier. Maybe it's Ganser, maybe it's Genzier. Genzir, heavily influenced by manga, perhaps? I'm getting some manga vibes. I like this, by the way. For, I don't know what it is, but I just like the way this is set up. I like the, the font, I like the way it's lined, I like the line. I don't know, it's cool. I dig it. But this gives me a very big manga feel. I would love to have Genzir here. I'd love to chat with him. It'd be really fun to do like a video with him and chat about his work and his influences. Because I'm... I'm some manga kind of radar detection is going off. Great detail, really interesting. He's using a lot of different lines here. He's using some pointillism. He's using a lot of different good blacks, different tools. I really like, if you look here, what he's doing, it's very subtle, but it's very interesting. This kind of uh, either clouds or, or land mass here. And he's putting his little lines, his little like hooks right there to kind of show the the uh, movement of the the that kind of like hill face, look like that. And even the stars and stuff is nice, kind of good done. Uh, okay, now we get the story. This is uh, after the flood, so it's like a post uh, issue, and um, yeah. So we're going through it, learning some stories. You cut up some nice little paste ups of different textures and things. He's, I really like this too. This is kind of a neat, you know, kind of look to it. If you just look at this page here, this actually tells you a lot about his vocabulary and understanding of the uh, lexicon of comics. So the sound effect here with the word bottoms of the letters going off the panel was really nice. This is really nice too, where you have the border uh, being invisible with the word. That's that's a nice touch, that's nice. This here going through the art is nice. This, this whole texture here, this hatching is really kind of cool. Uh, and then he's using kind of the bidet dots or the, you know, uh, duo shade type of zip -a tone kind of uh, thing here. Then he's pasting up this like image in there as well. Some nice blacks here and the panel overlays. So there's a lot of like this page. This page alone tells you that he knows a lot of these different little tools. So I dig, I dug it. Good detail, all that kind of stuff. So good rendering. This is another really great image. Um, Dutched angle, the great. I really like this lettering here. Stark, the just the simple line of the clouds looks really good, and the heavy detail of the object we're focused on. Again, pointillism here. Uh, yeah, so I dug this a lot. So this is telling me, okay, we got good stuff. This is all really well done. Again, I think with black and white, you have to think about your spotting your blacks, and you know, this is. It's good stuff. So, uh, the story, this is like one story, and then it kind of, it's going to hop to the past, kind of more, a little bit more of a modern thing. This is a clearly like a, um, you know, very far in the future, almost Max, Max, uh, Mad Max type stuff. Um, cool, cool, different than like almost like different styles, you know, different things going on. This feels different. This here feels different than this. I, I would, I'd be curious, because he's doing the whole thing, but I'm curious about, um, by the way, this is nice. Uh, if, if this was done out of sync, or if there's a reason why this is more like almost penciled and not inked as much, I'm curious about that. I wonder if he's doing it uh, out, of, out of order or something like that. Now, the book also goes into these world-building moments. Kind of like, you know, who did it most famously, I would say, would probably be Alan Moore with Watchmen. How at the end of each of those 12 issues, there was a, a, a 
a, a prose story or some kind of information that kind of like did the world building stuff. And so same thing here. We have this, uh, some kind of ads and, and news elements, things like that. And we will get to this in issue two. So here's our main, I think this is our main protagonist, I'm assuming, this character. Just had sex with his girlfriend. And uh, he's got to go because he's going to be late for the the plane or the vehicle that he gets to he needs to get to uh here's a boob shot and <laughs> this is kind of interesting what's happening but yeah this is nice this is all really well done it's really well done it's high caliber he's using a lot of tricks and he's he's been doing like you know the phone stuff with the texting kind of getting information that way which which works works well um and it kind of a camera the camera lens look so you're kind of like looking at video footage uh which is important because there's a package that is to be picked up and again here's another ad which is this this character is important in the second issue specifically where the wealthiest man is this like uh i would say tony stark but you know he's kind of like a uh like a musk you know inventor what do they call those people kind of entrepreneur of inventions and such uh one of the cool things about doing sci-fi and especially when here we're back in kind of like near present kind of is we get to look at just the small little modifications of technology which i think is really cool so for instance i really like this kind of tsa agent and they have this helmet with a number of different lenses and kind of information that they get and but yet it's it's made with like this happy face kind of image on it and i just i really dug that i really thought that was a really kind of clever idea and something that would probably be done you know um this is not you know this is kind of a photography that's inked over works works well doesn't look too weird or out of place nice silhouette of the jet i dig that i think generally the rendering of the people are pretty well done it's a couple spots maybe in the front you can kind of nitpick some of this perhaps but i would say it's i would say this is totally good i would i'm not gonna bust its chops on again's ears chops on that this is a nice this is nice i like this a lot I just, I like, I like, again, it's futuristic. It's got a neat little element to it. I dig it. Yeah. I thought it was good. Uh, it's slightly convoluted, maybe, but not, I, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't even bother. Yeah, this is a really good, by the way. I like this. Something happened. Someone killed his freaking cat, dude. That's not cool. Ads are great. Again, neat little posters and ads. It's world building stuff. And then we get into Sky Squinch which is kind of an interesting idea. Second, we just keep going. Uh, again, really like these cover images. I really just like the, well, just the design, that's good. And actually the covers do change color tone, so it looks like we're getting darker. So as the book goes, we're getting darker and darker. I'm assuming it's gonna get to red or something, right, as we get farther in, so. So he's thinking of it in a really great term. He's really putting a lot of uh, I thought into in strategy to kind of tactically look at this. So I think Genzier is doing a great job with it. Honestly, guys, this is a really well done. I'm I'm actually really impressed with it. I, I do want to read the others. I think there's a lot of work went into this. This is a great. I mean, this really well done. This took some time to do, the design, to ink it out. Uh, again, great, great kind of, give me definitely a manga feel to it. And I, I say manga because it's got that heavy detailed realism that uh, a lot of Japanese comics are, do. Not all though, but some. This is a really, again, remember I was talking about technology. This is a gun, this is like an old flintlock. And then now there's like a, a modern pistol that they use. And I just thought that was a really cool idea. Just the design. You know, there's a lot of little small things that are needed to make a world. 
and to make a comic like this. So, uh, this is a nice panel, broken up into threes, works really well. So now we have these like investigators checking out our protagonist's home now that he's left. They're kind of uncovering he's, you know, potentially a wanted, um, you know, terrorist. And so there's a little bit of dilemma here. This is like some VR goggles. They're on, he's on, and that's kind of a cool, cool look. Um, and then a majority of this, this issue is this, this news kind of a, a morning show with the kind of uh, Elon Musk type of a character on Musk Day. Happy Musk Day. And uh, they go through the technology of the sky squinch, of the solar panels, like what's the idea, the kind of the, the main dilemma or, or um, world conflict that's happening with the environment. Um, and so we kind of learn a little bit about his personality and he kind of has a bit of a meltdown at the end of the uh, thing. And we got these great little ads. Again, I really like these ads. They really add to it just, just to create this world. Uh, so, for, so yeah, 475 years is back to those kids that were out there in the desert. So clearly Sky Squinch has not been helping the earth get their water because we see this beautiful little faucet trickling out a little bit. Um, and I think maybe the line work is so light because of it's the desert. And so we want to keep that, keep that like that. But um, yeah, it's really well done. Yeah, all this is done. I like the, again, I like the costume, the costuming and the, uh, the clothing stuff. Then there's a little, um, kind of like a vice. Uh, this is a little article that we get to see. And, and they, there's another artist, Holly Badchapel, uh, did, these, did these pieces, which is kind of nice. So he's got other people coming in and helping out with, with little bits too. Okay, that's the first two issues. Again, really dug it a lot. Go check out mythomatic.com, raredexmedia.org. Um, I would... I would recommend these, man. I would say if you see these at a con or something, reach out to this guy, Genzier. I would. I thought it was pretty good. I want to read the others. Um, yeah, man. Like, I'm down. I'm down with this. So if you have something you want me to check out, please let me know, and I'll be happy to do that, um, and we can uh, do it. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys.